This is Matt Ray, host of Beyond Humanity. Margaret is unavailable today. Thank you all for tuning in. You're in Fort Towns in Washington. I'm one of the elected officials here. It's just a public hospital commissioner. But going on five weeks, being the only elected official who uh, swears publicly that I'm not under alien control. That's uh, potentially making me only legitimate uh, leader. Uh, only from the the Democratic leader in the United States, Jefferson County, four towns in Washington, Washington State, North America, both Americas, Western Hemisphere, Earth, local solar system, all known, non cowardly hiding, conscious uh, voting beings in every dimension. I mean, I'm literally like leader. So, everyone else is on the team. Howard, Heidi Cat. I mean, great. There, there's a nice hierarchy in the Heidi Cat. Heidi Cat. But anyways, um, uh, lots of stuff. Just heard uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You have not listened to his. Uh, long latest interview with I believe it was Lex Friedman holy mackerel just uh, go listen to that and think about the history of the uh, CIA let's see um, yeah go look and see what happened with uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis and then, uh, note last week, we're, we're literally three weeks away from hearings on uh, the biggest UFO hearings in history. And you know what's going to happen a week before that? Mayor K. Jr. is going to testify to Congress about government overreach and using censorship to mold agendas. The premise of this is going to be all about lies, misinformation, and censorship around vaccines. But how easy will it be for that conversation to also include everything Robert F. Kennedy has to say about the CIA killing JFK and laying out all the evidence before Congress? Are you going to stop him? Seems to be uh, the plan is, I mean, it seems to be um, everything is lining up for RFK to completely crush. Biden in the primaries and become the hero candidate. This is a uh, the House is helping RFK here by giving him this uh, hearing one week before UFO disclosure. Lawsuit that prompted this supposedly that lawsuit broke like two weeks ago. I mean, if this was all planned by Obama as a way to do disclosure. He planned on having Robert F. Kennedy be the hero candidate, planned on Robert F. Kennedy to go before Congress and just set the stage for the CIA being behind JFK's killer, even if it just stops there. And then a week later, it's revealed that part of the CIA and Lockheed Martin and then hiding alien technology and that's the reason they killed JFK. Talk about two incredible points that come together. Of course, it's totally random. That it happens at the same time, just like Avi Loeb going out in the ocean and discovering proof of alien uh, technology by uh, scraping the bottom of the ocean, which just so coincided with the US uh, military and global coverage system telling Avi Loeb exactly where to look so he could find that. And there's no way you could have predicted when the justice system 
would have produced that hearing ruling on JF RFK Jr. and censorship, except unless, you know, Obama knows anybody that, you know, is maybe in a position of power in the justice system and could have arranged for that news to break exactly when they wanted in relation to exactly when the UFO hearings were going to happen so we could put JFK's testimony exactly in the right spot right before it so that the narrative unfolds in the exact manner in which they want it to. Which I'm not saying this is all evil to plan things out like this. It's very difficult, but you know, you have enough strings behind the scenes. You can be doing this. I mean, the ultimate question, I guess, comes down to if there is a, a, a non-evil council of powers on Earth, a secret government that knows about aliens has been working on this. I mean, the story that I heard is that Obama is the president of this secret council. So if he is, then this whole... The whole good aspects and honest aspects of disclosure are coming from a group of people planning it with Obama. Who knows? Anyways, all right, so that's some random ideas. Um, this is not, I'm not really planning on whether or not this is an actual Beyond Humanity podcast, just uh, decided to go in here. Um, let's see, this is where Margaret asked me, uh, who's the genius of the day? Hmm. Genius of the day. You know, I'm going to go with someone like Buddha, um, but maybe not. But basically, anyone who like teaches meditation as a healthy practice, and. Genius, who was the first person to come up with the concept of freedom of speech? Where did that start? Whoever it was, whoever came with it, because it's like, you know, people, as long as you're allowed to talk and think, then you can have a uh, battle of ideas. Um, like, it seems like Robert F. Kennedy is, he's like an idea. That is getting through. I mean, like it literally looks like Robert F. Kennedy is like a vaccine for the Democratic Party, but not just the Democratic Party, really for the entire U.S. political system, because it seems like both sides, every human now realizes there is only one team and we need uh, leaders who we actually can trust because there's some serious, serious stuff now that was being revealed and we need honest people. And it feels like for the moment, everyone's comfortable with saying, you know what, RFK Jr. is the best we got on the side of like intelligence and reason and rationality and heart and authenticity. Some people believe, you know, there's other people that uh, have good leadership skills, um, but, you know, other leaders appeal to a different, part of the human psyche they appeal to the more base reptilian parts of our mind they're sort of catering to that you know reptilian um you know just base base um chakra and uh then other leaders are actually um looking for the higher part of the self in the mind and But not to the, you know, detriment of having a complete self and not to the detriment of the reptilian part of yourself, but a balanced approach where there's both reptilian needs and lusts and things, as well as more enlightened or different dimensional needs. All these dimensions have freedom of speech, a right to free speech. And that means like basically it's the right of ideas, the right to speak whatever idea, share whatever idea you have. And then you have to decide whether or not the way to resolve ideas is through honest assessment of evidence or whether it's through shenanigans, shenanigans of a corrupt justice system, shenanigans of a corrupt uh, scientific process, shenanigans of a corrupt scientific establishment, shenanigans of a corrupt, say, Smithsonian Institute formed in 1947. 
did it have shenanigans planned to control the human narrative of history, starting there to make sure humans from the Smithsonian Institute funneling money through the scientific establishment, starting there all the way to now, were they complicit in the greatest deception in human history, known human history? The Air Force, the CIA created to lie and not to cater to intelligent and noble truth and to truth and honesty, but just for control. So it looks like RFK Jr. has a chance to become a leader that a huge portion of this country can just really rally around, think about and learn and, and sort of face some really difficult moments and challenges like I mean, there's a decent chance he gets voted into power. I mean, well, he'd be in control of the U.S. nuclear weapons, but there, it might, the U.S. might have to decide, really might have to decide very soon whether or not it's going to use nuclear weapons or any other weapon to protect itself from anything, any threats, whether it's a, a potentially hostile alien force on Earth, an alien rogue military branch like the Air Force or rogue branch of the CIA or private companies with armies with possibly weapons, you know, more devastating than anything in the U.S., but the U.S. still might need a leader to decide whether or not it threatens to fight back. Is the U.S. going to be put into a standoff with an alien species trying to force it to comply and accept leadership and control from one alien species or another? And is the U.S. going to actually have to decide whether or not to go to war? Who do you want in charge of the United States military? You just make that decision. Do you want to be Donald Trump? Do you want to be RFK Jr.? Do you want to be Kamala Harris? Do you want to be anyone? Um, so, um, let's see, any other thoughts? Oh, uh, final thought is, uh, it's really becoming clear which media companies are complicit in the greatest deception of human history, NPR, the Washington Post, Associated Press, Huffington Post, CNN, MSNBC. They are all, they have, none of them have mentioned the name David Grush, G-R-U-S-C-H, New York Times also, none of them. And so they, it, they have revealed to us a coalition controlled by whoever has been controlling the secret. They are a coalition controlled by the secret keepers. This is very, very useful information. Now we trace out what are the relationships of these media organizations with other corporations? Every single corporation that is like, you know, connected in a fam familial line with these corporations is also highly suspect. And let me repeat, CNN, MSNBC, MSNBC, Microsoft, NBC. I mean, also NBC, CBS, ABC, but MSNBC is controlled by Microsoft, founded by Microsoft. Microsoft currently is the owner, essentially, of ChatGPT by being the largest investor and contract holder with OpenAI. So think about that, the most powerful AI that is in use by the public to help it sort through reality and evaluate narratives and analyze evidence is controlled essentially by the secret keepers. No wonder it is highly censored. No wonder if you try to get it to talk about certain topics, it freaks out. This is why other AI models are needed. And, but really we need just a clean sweep of all these corporations. They all need to be really just like vaccinated of the corruption and deception. And, and it's not, but it's not a chemical vaccination. It's an, a vaccination of ideas. Ide let the ideas and let the truth come out. Let us see what the web is. Let us see who's been part of the cover up and the complicit in the great deception, who has not. Use evidence, clear, rational, evidentiary paths. Let's have a lot of forgiveness because it's very hard to be courageous, like the seven congressmen and a couple senators that have stepped forward. It's very hard to be courageous. You're courageous against the greatest deception, the greatest power the world's ever seen, you might get killed as it was the story up through a lot of history. It seems a certain number of years ago, 
the force is willing to kill to keep the secret stopped killing because it they just started they just couldn't stop the ideas from going there was too many people to kill and maybe eventually the people on the inside trying to clean up the mess in the u.s maybe they've captured all the people in the rogue parts of the cia well-funded rogue black ops groups capable of killing driven them out to other countries to antarctica to secret bases alien planets who knows but maybe they're maybe they're not here anymore and it's just we're cleaning up our own corporate mess Anyways, uh, let's see. Oh, hearings in uh, probably two or three weeks, but it looks like the JF RFK hearings are going to be the new thing to watch. Oh, final thought. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, not the Lex Friedman, like yesterday. Yeah. And what did he say? He said a lot. You should listen to that whole thing. Very well masked, the information he was giving out. But if you, but the UFO community knows that uh, the fringes of the UFO disclosure movement greer revealed and chris lato covered this in a great video ice cube station the neutrino detector might be a way to snoop on the locations of every nuclear reaction in the universe very clearly it might also be a way to have perfect communication to any spot in the universe it might be a way to triangulate the location of any nuclear reaction any nuclear sub any nuclear ship or power device nuclear power plant on earth or in heaven, in earth, above earth, might be a way to x-ray and just see everything that's going on around us. Might be a way to snoop in on ancient alien communication lines crossing our universe. In any case, we have found that the uh, this alliance of the UAP program is an alliance called the Five Eyes which means the five eyes able to look and see what is there. So what if this alliance of five eyes really does mean it's the alliance of the five countries that are able to see everything that's going on in our universe and locate every military vessel that's nuclear powered in our universe easily. Uh, there's also the possibility that this thing could be an energy weapon, could be able to direct neutrinos or an energy blast to any point in space, even within a brain of a person possibly to control what they think. At the end of his interview, Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel, said, Israel is a great ally to the U.S. It is the sixth eye. Netanyahu, Netanyahu said, Israel is the sixth eye. It seemed to be very easily to be implied that he was saying it is a part of the Five Eyes Alliance. And if that alliance has super advanced alien technology of any sort, Israel is saying it also is a part of the alliance that has that. And that would also mean if Israel happens to have the most powerful advanced technology of any human nation, because perhaps Israel has known in some part of its power structure this whole time that aliens were real and that there was a race to advanced technology. And maybe Israel didn't start tearing apart its education system in 1973 the way the U.S. did and kept on pushing people into science and basic research and teaching and nurturing its scientific establishment with truth and honesty, not deception and profiteering. Maybe Israel is the most powerful nation on earth. And maybe the five eyes should be incredibly grateful. And then Yahoo might have been just sending a clear message to the aliens as well. Israel stands with the five eyes. Who else does? Anyways, you want to see what RFK says? You want to see what the hearing is saying in a couple of weeks? This is, uh, this is all I'm going to say today for the Beyond Two Humanity episode. Maybe I'll edit this down. Maybe I'll release it. Uh, thank you for joining us. Hopefully, we'll be back next time with Margaret and uh, Talio. I'm I, Chung. Won't stitch with their hiding. Will it stay with the private sector? Or will it rebound? Will it hide it in the morning? Take a turn into the afternoon Feel the truth that is slipping away Don't believe it's coming back soon The secret's not in Congress Or elected once we trust Private
and it swells Do you know what it does?